All right, let's keep exploring in even the ocean. Let's head back home. Fancy station on the Apex line. Where should I go? Oh, we have options. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. I guess we're just going to the entrance. You look very happy. Oi, oh, hey, welcome to Winford City, or thanks for coming. You're coming, you're going now. Oh ho ho! Wait, was I supposed to go? Oh, no, I was supposed to go to the city. Never mind. I guess we're heading out to go work. We Oh, convenient safe state. Or safe thingy. One of the ground line stations. Where to? Junkyard. I don't think there's anything I need in the junkyard. Ah! Oh! Cemetery. Let's pay. Let's, let's press F. Oh. Nothing to do at all. Okay. You know, they could have just built some better supports for that, and I don't think they would need all of their fancy, like, space magic to hold that up. Let's go to the park! What video game character? Oh, pretty plants! What video game character would respond? This is Yara's house. I think I should probably give her some space. Look at those awesome plants. They're as big as me! They remind me of those, um... Uh, Legend of Mana plants that you could grow. Doesn't feel quite like it yet, but I'm home. I guess I'll head in for the day. Hi, journal. What a bizarre day. Move to a new city and start a new life. You expect to shake things up, but this. There's a lot more happening than I expected. Is it awful that Cassidy's death has been kind of pushed to the back of my mind? I mean, funeral's just today, but I don't really know what to feel about it. I hardly knew Cassidy. It sounds like the most I can feel is guilty. Guilty that I, some totally random stranger, was the last person Cassidy got to be with, to talk to. Anyway, my guilt doesn't really matter. In fact, I don't matter in this situation at all. Which, strangely enough, seems to be the exact opposite of what the mayor's thinking. Someone has got in his head that I'm a hero for all this. Apparently he's pinned all the hopes and dreams on me. Even though I just started. I don't know. This is all just a lot to think about. Two days later. Three days later. Okay. Today's the day I gotta go back to work, I guess. I have to go to the lighthouse for my new, uh, my new suit. Hopefully it's a bit more platformer friendly. Act one complete. Act two. Frickin' orbital laser looking thing. Oh, it's just the lighthouse. Repairing the power plants. Okie dokie. Uh, hello? Hey, new technician Aleph. They call me Yukon, I've got a proposal for you. Ahem. Life can be real scary sometimes, can't it? Sometimes you just don't know what's coming around the bend, or if you'll be prepared for it when it hits you. Not sure I like where this is going, Yuka. Well, listen close, because I'll let you in on a little secret. Over in the junkyard, me and my buds have been working on a little passion project, you might say. I said obstacle courses, be precise. Built from a lot of scrap left over pieces of power plants. You might find the practicing as well, it's going easier to finer points of power plant fixing in the days ahead. Got that. If you're nervous about the text ahead, Take the ground line to the junkyard. We'll take care of you, okay? Okay. Oh, cool. Thanks, Yuka. I wonder, do we get things by doing that? Or is it really just practice? I don't really think I need practice. But, uh... Hey there, let me know if you need anything. We have your basic groceries, and I can also cook up your simple meals before you head out to your work each day. Oh, give me some foods. Um... Oh, fried egg bowl! Heck yeah! Hmm, a classic. Pretty normal, but there's some interesting extra flavors in here. Oh, can I just eat everything? I gotta, I have, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have the soup. Hmm, nice, thick, hearty. She doesn't seem to mind that I'm just eating absolutely everything. Hmm, store-bought oatmeal is usually sugary. But this is a good balance to it. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat everything. Not too sweet. Guess that's the value of homemade. Who makes homemade energy bars? Sure saves a lot of time rather than making one at home. <laughs> you just ate like three persons worth of food right there. That's fine. Let's take a peek at the junkyard. 
I'm just gonna confirm if it's really just practice. But... I'm Yuka's, you know, lead designer. This is Trunks. She's our lead course fabricator. Hey. It's future. It's not future Trunks, so she can't beat Frieza. Dahlia used to work for that with her dad's work. She's a remote plant consultant and the course editor. Nice to meet you, myself. And this is my kid sibling, Pollen. Pollen is lead decorator. She makes all the daisy chains. She gets this ice cream. Hee <laughs> hee Doesn't seem very enthused about it. Anyways, there's three practice courses you can visit. Just let me know where you want to go. Oh, it's like practice for a specific thing. Alright, we, we'll be fine. I'm just gonna go and do it for realsies. Did we go to Mirax Park? Oh yeah, Mirax Park is where my housey house is. Let's get the heck out. Oh, wait a minute, what? Oh, I gotta get my new suit, that's right. I don't like the smile on this guy's face, look at him. Calm down. Okay, same dialogue, all right. Uh, what? I guess we're going to the plaza. Go to the lighthouse, get that suit. Aleph, there you are, right on time! We got a brand new suit for you there! The latest model! Oh, uh, yeah. I have been dreading that moment. But I tried to brush these feelings aside. I started shaking, feeling dizzy and nauseous. The suit was cramped and dark and suffocating. I think I started shouting and flailing. I managed to get me out and I ended up in a lobby armchair, dripping with sweat. Uh, Aleph, you all right there, chimp? I'm okay, I'm okay. Ready to try again? What? No, I just... I'll go without it. Fix without a suit? Is that really what you're saying? Well, that's preposterous. These suits are top-of-the-line equipment. The result of years of research and innovation. They're completely safe. We used according to procedure, and only a fool would go to a malfunctioning plant without one. Now, now, calm down, everyone. Aleph, are you really suggesting you go in there unprotected? I have my shield. I'll be protected. That's how I fix this fray rogue plant. Remember? Ah, uh, yes. Hmm, well, let's go all have an upside. Uh, what upside, Mr. Mayor? Well, picture it. Shield Avenger Aleph charging into the power plants to save White Forge. It's a pretty heroic image, huh? It's also a really... It's like reckless endangerment and, you know, probably multiple other crimes. Maybe we can boost morale around here. Only if Shield Avenger Aleph stays alive. Look at his scouter. What, what is my power level, Doctor? Listen, Doc, we need somebody brave, somebody willing to try things that no one else has ever done in order to fulfill the greater interest of Whiteforge. Aleph sure seems like our ticket. Well, it's your decision, Mayor Biggs. Let it be known the damage to the suits of Agents 18C and 3A only occurred because of astronomically unlikely events in conjunction with the fact that they were wearing last year's module of check armor. This year's module has specifically aggressed the joint issues of the last module based on extensive safety testing procedures. Leech me. It's not personal. I just can't wear that suit. I know that feel, bro. Irrational and stubborn. Perhaps you're right, Mayor. Well, all right then. It's settled. I'll if you have my approval and the full backing of White Forge City. Call him by radio and oh yes, I almost forgot. One more thing. Take this map of the continent. We wouldn't want you getting out lost out there, would we? <laughs> I'm just gonna walk the continent. That's it's, it's fine. Aleph received a map of the Mayor of White Forge. Take a review and right now, you reach the location of the power plant you want to take care of. Check in by radio, and again when the plant is fixed. With any luck, you'll be back here sipping martinis by the end of the week. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Well, let's go sip us some martini. Ugh. I still feel a bit disoriented. Did I miss something in that conversation between the mayor and the doctor? Whatever, I guess I should just get going. The fresh air will do me some good. Let's get going. Uh, city entrance, I guess. Wait, this is the city entrance. How do we get out of here? Do I just walk this way, maybe? Wait, Aleph. Huh? Oh, Yara. Hey. Yara. Hi. When you were first hired and came to town, I told Cassie that you looked cool. We should try to be friends with you. 
I was kind of excited that your first mission was going to be with Cassidy. Of course, I didn't know only one of you would come back. I'm sorry that I stopped you from talking to Cassidy at the funeral. I'm sorry for being cold towards you. I know this probably isn't uneasy on you either. I think maybe I'd like to still be, like to be friends. It's all just really hard to process right now. Maybe you hate me right now and don't want to be friends, which I would totally understand. I just don't want to let you go without saying anything, in which case, well, you're going on another mission, and you know, anything can happen. I just, I know that I want you to get back safe, okay? I will. I will come back, okay? Thank you, Yara. Nods. She's nice after all. Throughout the game, Alpha will receive maps which you may use to aid her navigation between locations of Pernoy towards City. Maps. Oh, is maps... Are those fast travel? Let me guess. Oh. Map equipped. Oh, we have different continents then? Oh, that is cool. I... I... I'm surprised how big this game is. How do I get out of here? Oh. Right, it's A. It's a. What are you doing here? Excuse you. Howdy, fellow traveler. It's me, the one they call Travel Bob. What's that? You never heard of me? Well, it figures. They're too busy in the city to pay me any mind. What with their techno doodads and cyber toilets sitting around watching television instead of the great and bountiful land of nature. None of that crap smell of city business for me. I'm a free man. Out on the open road. A pioneer, you might say. You won't catch me sitting around, fritting around my time in front of a screen. No siree. Well, you will find me sitting around in front of a screen. I'll tell you that. Well, I'm sure I'll pass across again. Bon voyage. Olive's parents' home. Oh. <laughs> I immediately left. Oh, we live in, like, Red Fern hellscape. Okay. Hey, Mom. How you doing? No, oh, Elf, honey. So nice to see you drop in. Your mother will be back. Father will be back from work soon. You'd like to stay and eat with us? Uh, no thanks. I gotta be going soon, actually. You know, I was reading over yesterday about wheat farming in River Riverton. Turns out there's a problem with the irrigation system due to a pesticide additive and... Ten hours later. So that's why I said it takes 1,000 hours to master a skill. Uh, cool. Yeah, I gotta get going now. I love you, honey. Love you too, Mom. Alright. <laughs> I guess there is a lot going in in this game in terms of narrative. I was a little... I was wondering what the deal was with, you know, skip, basically, gameplay. But I guess there is quite a lot going on. Um, so that was said to be the easiest one. I'm going to assume we're going to visit all of them. You know, bad things will happen in the other ones or something. Oh, watch your step, please. There we are. You almost stepped in that patch of Cartesa toadstool. See how these mushrooms grow differently depending on which energies they absorb from the soil? They're sensitive to the slightest fluctuations can show it dramatically due to their simple structure and fast rate of growth. We can together a few of a recipe. Pluck, pluck. Take care. Okay. Oh, there's different... Music for different areas. That's really cool. This is just. Well, I guess we're here. I want to finish exploring the map first, though. No, oh, maybe there's not a ton to explore. But I miss me some JRPG maps. Where, where's the indies with the JRPG maps going on? I mean, there's this game, obviously. Riverton. How's good old Riverton? Those are some... I don't need to be here right now. Oh. Oh. Scoff. What's... How do I map? How did I map? Hold the A button. Oh, hold it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is... This is... Whoa. What is this? It keeps seeing some kind of glow out of the corner of my eyes, but then it disappears when I turn to look at it. Oh, I'm just imagining things. Oh, this place is too cool. This place is too cool for school. We got a... Mad Gold Woods. Oh, pretty. I don't need to be here right now. Well, I wanted to explore that one. Fine. I guess that Mako reactor will have to be dealt with later. 
Can I go to the swamp? Or am I forced to go to the easiest one? I figured it was up to me, but... Oh. No, that one's not an option either. Uh, maybe it just wasn't one of the three. Oh, the scarecrow looks kinda... <laughs> His head is a squash! The scarecrow looks kinda familiar. Oh, it's it looks like the dude! It looks like Mr. Government Man! That's kind of creepy, actually. Huh. Alright, what's going on? Oh. Blocked. Blocked, blocked, blocked. None of you are free from sin. Ooh. That mood changed, though. Ooh, what's this? Dream Dream Canyon! Yeah! Heck yeah! Well, looks like this is where one of the plants can be found. I should check in now. I have to make sure I to fix this power plant before it goes somewhere else. Sure. Hello, Alf. I thought I'd personally oversee things on your first time out. I trust your travels are pleasant. Yes, everything went fine. I'm here at Dream Dram Canyon. Oh yes, of course. Excellent choice. Just remember, no stool on the job. Ha <laughs> ha! You'll know what I mean in a bit. Now remember what we talked about, Alf. Fix the plant. But also be able to look out for anything out of the ordinary. Go get him. Okay, thanks. Alright, let's try not to have stew. Whatever that means. Where the walking and sleeping selves meet. That's... Or the waking and sleeping selves meet. That's ominous. We got some nice bong plants, though. How do I... Oh, right, wall climbs. Duh. What is that? A giant pupa. What's this pile of stuff? I thought it was an animal carcass at first, but up close it doesn't really look like flesh or fur. It's more like some sort of strangely formed glass. I guess this is something odd to report back to the mayor. Okay. Whoa, giant freaking laser. I'm gonna guess that my thing does not actually protect against that. So there's no sound effect for that. I guess it might get annoying. It's another one of those. There's another one of those odd piles. It's not a pile, it's like a bug carcass. Oh! This big bridge should lead straight to the path, but it's broken down. I guess I'll have to go down the canyon and see if I can make a way across the canyon floor. What is that? Ow. That, that's suspicious since you didn't even mention it. Uh-oh. Oh. There's just a call button. Okay. Alright. Let's see what's going on behind door number two. W what are these? Why is she not commenting on these? Well, I guess that one's just to keep you stuck in the thing. What? Ooh! No, I want to open that! There's treasure in there, bro! How do I open? No? Huh. Maybe I'll... Maybe there's a door somewhere else. Hmm. There, not a door, but a block... thing. Ooh! Welcome to Dream Dram Hollow! My name is Kaluna! Hi, I'm Aleph. I'm here to fix the power plant, but I saw the bridge is out. Previously, you could go straight through here to the power plant entrance, but ever since the disruption, we always been blocked by fallen power lines. Oh, that's what those are. What disruption? When did it happen? Do you see what caused the damage to the plant? Oh, if, let us take things a bit more slowly. When you rush, you can miss out on the truth of the situation. Huh? Sorry, it's just I have a job to do. I understand. But remember, Aleph, all of us have many jobs to do. You're, you're being ominous. Sometimes these jobs conflict with each other. Sometimes our actions have unforeseen consequences. I will tell you what I saw, but be careful what you do with this information. Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful, thanks. Just before the power plant malfunctioned, a massive and beautiful winged creature appeared and perched at the top of the canyon. Smaller creatures like spores poured out of it and flowed into the power plant. Wow, uh, you don't sound phased at all. It was frightening, to be sure, but no one was harmed, no. Seems I live in an even vaster world than I could have imagined. That would be a pretty cool thing to see. 
Tell me about Dream Dram Stew. Stew of Dream Dram Holland intensifies the visions of the dreamer. For those with quiet dreams, those seeking a new path, sometimes those dreams of the push we need to envision our new selves. I can help us remember how malleable and how fragile a shattered reality truly is. I... I'm thinking maybe if I take the stew, maybe I will have some kind of like... Let's see, there's a piece of paper with a poem delicately scrolled on. Should I read it? Sure. The Disruption. If you were a dream, then everything about you would fall into place. Your beauty would be the binding of my mind. Your terror, just the tremors of my brain. If you were a dream, then in your wake you would be dissolving in destruction. Scars wiped clean by sunlight sponge. Across the smooth gray kitchen table where I laid my cheek. What? Where I drank my milk and drew a picture of you. You look like an adventure to my young heart. Like a storybook. That I could close at the end to remember the miles of journey. Without weary blisters on my feet, without the heavy burdens on my back, to keep me ever from adventuring again. If you're a dream, and only if I could take the chance to love you. Can I take the stew? I want the stew. No, I guess I can't do the stew. Yeah, I'm wondering if you could take the stew and like, it's like a different story path versus following Mr. Creepy Government. And what is that? Welcome to Dream Dram Hollow. Drinking the Dream Dram Stew intensifies the visions of the dreamer. Dreams take on shapes to outside observers. You're not even going to mention this. What? What's Mr. Army Man doing? N none of this is... This is just normal and fine. Okay then. Nothing strange going on. Oh, 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 the people dreaming. That's still kind of weird. Why is that one not dreaming anything? Can I stand on it? Yep, always blocked off. Let me guess. I have to drink some stew and then I can stand on that thing. Ah, yeah, I saw that. Alright. What's in the pit? Whoa! Hey, creepy Batman alike. Didn't he? Hey, did you enjoy the Dream Dram stew? I didn't have any. I'm on the job. Well, 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 you must be real hungry then. What if I told you of a different stew you could try? The most delicious stew you ever tasted without any functioning dream side effects. What are you talking about? It's called Pad Padme stew. It's a magic stew that appeared just before you say its name ten times real fast. Uh, look, I'm... Oh, fine. Padme stew... Hey, wait a minute. Oh, was it a was it a joke? Padme stew, Padme stew, Padme stew, Padme, Pad. I I don't get the joke. I, I guess I should have read it. I don't know. I don't get the joke. Huh? Please, I must. This time, I'll give you a real secret. No fooling. I had to get the red emerald marble. It lets you touch dreams. Touch dreams, huh? What do I have to say to get that? No, no, no. This is real. Listen up. Because told me a secret door in the canyon wall. He probably passed on the way down. There's a mushroom pod. Jump on the mushroom pod exactly five times and run into the pod. That opens the door. Oh. Pedime stew, pedime stew, pedime stew. I don't get it. But yeah, obviously we need the thing. So let's go get the thing. <laughs> I like the one that's just the dude eating things. Alright. So we're not gonna get some stew? Also, this seems like a dangerous, like... How are those people gonna get out of here? Ow. Okay, so it's not an instant death. Boop. Hmm. What's this? There's a note. Oh, you found the red emerald marble. You can interact with daydream dreams. A blessing or a curse. Be careful. Say it's easy to become obsessed with other people's dreams. Jay. Well, that Disney was character was telling the truth after all. Nope. Should probably actually take some red damage. Oh. That deals less damage than I thought it would. 
I really don't jump as high as I thought I would. I guess maybe not I'm maybe I'm not far enough into the thing. So do these hurt now? Seriously, why do people eat hard boiled eggs and not hard boiled rocks? The rocks are already so hard you wouldn't even need to boil them. I appreciate your wisdom. I guess we need to take the elevator. Give him a taste of the auto, private! What is this? Hello, offspring. Uh, hi. Daughter, I must tell you the truth. You are no croissant. Bagel dough flows through your veins. Also, croissant claws isn't real. <gasps> croissant claws! <laughs> but I think you knew that one already. Okay. I knew it. I knew when I saw that thing going back and forth. Oops. Getting a little dangerous with the hell situation. Dang, that was... I wasn't expecting to take a break before another, like, gameplay segment. But yeah, that was... I guess that's another episode of Even the Ocean. And uh, next time we'll actually beat a level. But yeah, there's a lot of narrative to this. Which, I'm not complaining, I'm just... I thought it was a bit more platformy. Well, I mean, it is platforming, but y y you know what I mean.